my kindergarten friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing another paper cutout project. So for this project you're going to need a glue stick, a pair of scissors, a pencil, and lots of different color construction paper. If you happen to save the scraps that you have from the pigeon project we did last video, you can definitely use those. I have my black scraps and I have my yellow scraps from the pigeon from last time. So once you've gathered those materials, we can get started. Okay, so for this project, we are going to be making a cute little chicken. Have any of you seen the movie Chicken Little? It's an old Disney movie. Um, the little chicken is crying that the sky is falling. It's super cute, my son loves that movie. So that was what inspired me to do this project today. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm thinking about a background piece. This isn't gonna be like a free floating little bird like our pigeon was. I'm gonna start off with a blue piece and this is gonna be like the sky in the background. So I'm gonna take a green piece and can you guess what I'm gonna make for my chicken to stand on? If you said grass, you were right. So I'm going to cut just a little strip of my green paper and I'm gonna turn that into grass. But I think that this looks pretty boring and it's almost kind of lazy for me just to leave it straight cut across. So I'm going to cut a zigzag line the best I can. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And now I have a nice little piece of grass from my chicken to stand on. I'm gonna go ahead and line that up at the very bottom of my paper and I'm going to glue that on. So remember when you're gluing, you're taking your cap off. You don't need to twist it up too much. This is actually a brand new glue stick, so that's how much is showing. And I'm going to put glue on the back of the piece that I'm gluing down. So I'm putting the glue onto the green piece of paper. And I'm gonna line that up at the bottom the best I can. Just press it down nice and flat. So now my chicken has some grass to stand on. Okay, so for my chicken, I'm gonna use a combination of yellow and orange. For my chicken's body, I have this big yellow piece of paper. It's got a little piece cut out. This was left over from my pigeon project last week. So I'm going to use my pencil and I'm going to draw a big, circle and then right on the top of that circle I'm gonna do like some spikes I'm gonna give him some little feathers kind of sticking off it almost looks like a crown right now also on the same piece of paper I'm going to draw another circle this will be the chicken's body and then I'm going to do some wings so for the wing I'm gonna do a straight line like this and then I'm going to go out in out in out in and connect it now I'm gonna show you a trick with this wing because how many um, wings should my chicken have that's right my chicken should have two wings so right now I only drew one but I'm going to show you a trick so I get two wings that are exactly the same when I cut that out Go ahead and grab your scissors and get ready to cut. All right, so now we are ready to cut. One thing that I need you to know is when I cut out my chicken's head, I'm not going to cut on this line. So if it helps you to remember, you can go ahead and erase it. So when you're cutting out, you remember you don't wanna cut on that line. You wanna leave that attached to the head. So I'll go ahead and cut out a circle for my body. If it's not perfect, is that okay? Yes, it is. Remember, in art, I like to say practice makes better. As long as you're trying your best, that's what's important. So I've got my circle for my body. I have a circle. That little spiky, it almost looks like a pineapple, doesn't it? It was green up on the top. Slowly, zoom. 
super carefully, cutting on the lines the best I can. So now I have my head and I have my body. Now remember I told you we were gonna do something special with this wing. I'm gonna cut off just this little bit of extra. And then what I'm going to do is just fold my paper in half. Now some of you might already know this trick and if you do, then you're already a step ahead of me. And I'm gonna fold this in half and I'm gonna keep it folded. So when I cut it out, I'll have two wings at one time, watch. Keeping it folded, I'm gonna carefully cut my wing out. My chicken has two wings. We're almost ready to put them together. Okay, now that we've got our pieces to our little chicken, we can start gluing them together. So, just like I said with the grass, remember you're gonna put glue onto the piece that you're gonna glue down, not onto where you're gluing it. So I'm gonna just kind of lay out my pieces to my chicken first and make sure I know where I want to put them. And I'm gonna put some glue on the back of the head. Not too much, but making sure that it's gonna lay nice and flat. Glue his head on. And even if his little spiky hair sticks off the top of the paper, that's okay. I think that'll be kind of cute, actually. Or if his wings stick off the sides. Glue on the circle for my body. And if they overlap, that's okay. We want them to touch so that the head looks like it's attached to the body. Glue on one wing. Glue on the other wing. And we have the body of our chicken ready. Do you notice that I left some space down at the bottom? I wanted to make sure that I had room for my chicken's legs. So that's what we're gonna do next using our orange paper. Okay, now it's time to make the legs and the feet and the beak. So I have a little scrap of orange paper. <laughs> Don't mind my cat, that's Cuddles. Um, that I'm going to use to make the legs and the beak and the feet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to cut two really skinny little strips. If you want to draw a line to help you, you absolutely can if that makes it a little bit easier. So I've got two long strips, two long rectangles. And I'm gonna use my pencil and I want to draw the beak. So for the beak and the feet, the shape we're gonna draw will just be triangle. So we're gonna draw three triangles, one bigger one for the beak, and two smaller ones for the feet. And I'm drawing them upside down. That was That's gonna be my beak and these will be my feet. I'm not really sure why I'm drawing them upside down, but that's just how I started drawing them. They're still triangles and that's okay. <laughs> and now I'm gonna cut those out. So I've got one foot. Two feet. And my beak. So I'm gonna glue my beak on. Remember, I'm gonna put glue on the back of the piece that I'm gluing on. Just a little bit of glue on that triangle. And then I'm gonna glue my beak on. Now I'm gonna use the piece of scrap paper that I have, and I'm just going to use that for the glue for the legs because I don't want to get glue on my desk. So if you need to do some sort of placemat, you definitely should so you don't get glue all over the table or the surface that you're working on. So I'm gonna put glue right on that line, that rectangle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slide it up. Actually, I can't because I did such a good job gluing on my body. I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm just going to cut my leg a little bit and stick that on. So now that I know that 
these are a little bit too long. When I have my other one, I'm just gonna do the same thing, cut a little bit off. Then put my glue on and stick it underneath the body. And I've got my little feet. I'm gonna use my placemat again, a little bit of glue. Stick one little triangle foot, a little bit of glue and my other little triangle foot. So now my chicken has feet and a beak and wings and a head and a body, and now it needs eyes. Yes, cuddles. Our, chi <laughs> Our chicken needs some eyes. <laughs> okay, so for the eyes, we're gonna use a couple different colors. So I have black leftover. See, it's got a little notch out of it. I have black leftover, so I'm gonna use my black scrap. I think I'm gonna use pink and I'm going to use purple because I was trying to think of all the colors we used for the project and we used a lot. So I wanted to use a couple different colors that we hadn't used. So I'm gonna take my black piece and I'm going to just cut all that extra off because I don't need that big of a piece. And I'm gonna draw two circles that aren't too big. These are gonna be the eyes. So we're gonna do eyes that have a couple different colors on them. They're gonna look kind of crazy, but I kind of like it. This one kind of came out a little bit more like an oval, but that's okay. So again, I'm gonna cut this extra off. And then I'm going to cut out my black circles. Or kind of oval-y shapes. Let's see how that's gonna look. Ooh, he's got some big eyeballs. Kind of silly, but I really kind of like it. All right, so now there's his other eye. Now I think I'm going to use pink. So I have this giant pink piece of paper. I do not need all that. I'm cut some off. And again, I'm gonna draw two circles, but I want them to be smaller than the black ones. So I think what I'll do is I will trace my black circles so I know they're the right size. Move my little chicken over here so you can see what I'm doing. Oops. Carefully just tracing around that black circle. So I know I want my pink circles to be smaller, so now I'm just going to draw smaller circles inside the ones I traced. And then to make this even more interesting, you don't have to do this, but I just grabbed some markers and I'm going to make a little bit of a pattern on this, these circles. So I'm going to do some polka dots all around. I'm going to have some polka dot eyeballs. What do you think about that? Oh no, it sounds kind of weird. We'll see how, how it looks when it's finished. Okay, so now remember this line is the black circle, so we want to cut on this line so that these are a little smaller. Here's one. Looks kind of funny. Here's the other one. color we're gonna cut out two more circles so again I don't need this giant piece of purple I really only need a tiny bit of that and I'm going to draw two small circles so I want these to be even smaller than those pink ones or whatever colors you chose I'm not gonna add a pattern on this one so what I will do is use my black marker and put a black dot for the pupil right in the middle of this purple one. Let's cut these guys out. Lots of shapes today. Lots of cutting, lots of gluing, lots of practicing our skills that we were working so hard on at the beginning of the year. 
hopefully you've been practicing those skills at home too. Okay, so I've got my little purple circles. Let's see how crazy these eyes are gonna be. I've got my placemat so I can start gluing those eyes together. I'm gonna put my eyes together first and then I'll glue them onto my chicken. Here we go. So I'm gonna start with those pink circles. A little bit of glue. Glue it on the black. A little bit of glue. Glue it on the black. Now, the purple, same thing, a little bit of glue. Glue it onto the pink. So there's some silly looking eyeballs, if you ask me. Glue it on the pink. All right, we've got my eyes ready. So now, I'm gonna grab my chicken. Slide him on over. Still gonna use my placemat. Put some glue on the black. Glue one eyeball on. A little glue on the back. And glue on my other eyeball. There is my silly looking chicken. What do you think about that? If you want to, you could grab a white crayon or oil pastel and add maybe some clouds in the sky on that blue paper. Add some other details. You could put some flowers on the grass. You could add some feathers on your wings. Maybe I'll use an orange crayon and draw some lines, make some feathers. If you want, you don't have to, just an idea. You could add some more little spikies to his little crown of feathers up on the top of his head, and you're all done. There's your little chicken. Please have your family send me a picture. I can't wait to see them when they're finished if you decide to do this project. See you guys soon.